it's Callista. Welcome back to another week of Hits the Tea. A lot going on this week, especially movie-wise. But first, I want to say thank you to this week's sponsor. It's Donut Plan. So I've tried a couple of their donuts before. I think I've tried the white chocolate raspberry and vanilla. And maybe the hojicha. I can't really remember, but they were really, really good. And I'm so excited to try these as well. So to start us off, we are going to try the maple beef bacon because that's the savory one, right? Okay, honestly, it just tastes like a glazed donut. It's not savory at all. Oh, there is like an aftertaste of the bacon, which is nice. But it wasn't as strange as I thought it would be, so I'm happy about that. So, first order of business. Johnny Depp fans were quite upset this week because he's been asked to leave the set of Fantastic Beasts third movie. Of course, fans really want him to continue playing Grindelwald. Warner Brothers asked him to leave, but silver lining for him is that Warner Brothers still has to pay him the entire salary because he already shot one scene back in September and because of his contract, which is a pay or play contract if I'm not mistaken, even if he shot one scene, they have to pay him for the entire movie, whether the movie gets made or not, whether they recast, whether anything that happens. So he still gets paid, but we still don't really get to see him on screen. Mads Mikkelsen, I hope I'm saying his name right, is apparently currently in talks with the director to replace him as Grindelwald. He looks like a good choice. He played the villain on Doctor Strange. Strange. The name is slipping my mind. He played the character really well, but I don't know. I feel kind of bad for him because replacing Johnny Depp, those are big shoes to fill. How do you feel about it? Okay, so this is a matcha. Very, very distinct matcha taste. I like it. And moving on to the Homer Raspberry Lychee. This one is the cutest one in the box. Uh, I'm looking forward to this. Ooh. As soon as my tongue touched the, the icing, I already got the tang of the raspberry and lychee. So, so good. I hate that I have to put them down and go on to another one. But here we are. This is one that I've tried before, which is the Madagascar vanilla. And Rupert Grint, aka Ron Weasley from Harry Potter, he has not been on social media, okay? He has kept very private about his life. But 10 years later, here he is introducing us to his six-month-old daughter. And he even gave us her name, which is quite unique. Her name's Wednesday. G. Grint. What do you think of that name? It immediately makes me think of the Adams family. You know what? It's it's not too bad in all you know unique names consideration. Okay, this is like your classic glazed donut, and I'm very um, apprehensive for this one. It looks pretty, but it's brown butter marmite. I'm not that big of a fan of marmite, but we shall see. Oh, the marmites. If you like Marmite, you'll like that one. It's very purely Marmite. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. And obviously I got 10 donuts, two boxes. My favorite of this box, I think, is the Raspberry Lychee Homer, for sure. Anyway, this girl on TikTok, her boyfriend was actually in the same school year as Harry Styles, and she found the yearbook, went through it. Can you believe that he was not voted most likely to win X Factor? He was voted as best dressed, though, so they, they got something right. They got something right. <laughs> and speaking of best dress, I think this one is the best dress of the box, but I've tried that before, so let's try this one. This is the dark chocolate glazed with roasted Cocoa nibs. I like the crunch of the cocoa nibs. I definitely like this one. I feel like we've been doing nothing but watching TV series all 2020. I watched more movies and TV series in this year alone than I have in my entire life, I feel. But I'm super excited because Umbrella Academy just announced that they are officially going into production in February, I think, for season three. Emily in Paris, yes. Season 2 is confirmed. They just announced it on Instagram. And um, Dickinson, if you've watched that one, it's with Hayley Steinfeld. Season 2 is going to be coming in January. I haven't watched it yet, so I'm going to catch up this week because I want to be caught up before Season 2 comes out and then it's going to be too overwhelming. So watch it with me, Dickinson, this week. Lemon poppy food. I always feel lemon goes really well on cakes, on donuts, on tarts. And this has a really good tang to it, so I like it. This one is gonna be a bit messy. It's the hojicha with lotus biscoff crumbles. Sorry, it's slipping out of my hands. <laughs> but I don't wanna eat it until I tell you the good news. Henry Golding, yes, our very own Malaysian superstar. He just announced that he and wife live pregnant with their very first child. Congratulations. It's gonna be a cute kid. You already know. It's gonna, if it's a son, it's gonna be handsome. If it's a girl, it's gonna be beautiful. Just look at Henry Golding's face. 
Okay, I really like Biscoff, but on this donut, the hojicha is actually the star because it kind of like blends it really well and the taste is it's really good. Hojicha and matcha, I think I'd have to go with hojicha. And we're going into the yuzu blueberry with a crown, which is pretty apt because I'm about to talk about a Malaysian queen. Farah Ann, the gymnast, the Olympic gymnast from Malaysia. She just got her very own Barbie. It is so pretty. She's wearing like a pink leotard, just like Farah Ann's pink gold and silver but unfortunately it's not for sale um it's actually part of their campaign you can be an athlete and other malaysian uh athletes have been included as well like squash champion nicole david olympic diver leong mun yi bowler shahlin zulkifli and speed skater anja chong so i can't wait to see the whole series it looks so so good and we are so proud of our malaysian athletes right i'm not gonna eat the crown because i don't deserve it yet the yuzu in this, so so good. That is the end of our tea for this week. I'm gonna finish off with my favorite. I've tried this before. It's the white chocolate raspberry. Oh, this just tastes so good. Let me just. It's got the sweetness of the white chocolate, the tanginess of the raspberry, the softness of the donut. It is so so good. Mm -hmm. I just wanna say thank you once again to our sponsor, Donut Plan. These are so so yummy. I'm gonna have to like try and control myself and not eat all of them. Oh once might have to share one or two with like my brother or whatever but you know what most of them are mine thank you so much for sponsoring this episode and if i miss out on any tea make sure to drop it down in the comment box below and if anything else i'll see you next week bye